Half a day and welcome everyone to this, the University of Guam's Island Sustainability Conference of 2016. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't be there with you today, but I was asked to provide a video to welcome everyone and to speak a little bit about the administration's take on sustainability. I thought I'd show you a little bit of what we've been doing to help protect our island from wildfires and our reefs from being buried in eroded soil. And we're here at the Cross Island Road in Jotnia at one of the many sites where the Department of Agriculture's Forestry Division is working to regrow forests island-wide. Since the inception of the program more than 30 years ago, hundreds of acres of trees have been planted. Now in this administration alone, since 2011, we've planted 300,000 trees. Now the trees grow and inhibit the spread of sward grass, which catch fire easily. The forested areas don't catch fire easily, something that will be important with decreased precipitation. In fact, a recent fire swept through the hillsides here, but stopped at the edge of a forest that had been cultivated by the forestry division. These forests also mean less erosion, less dirt going into our bay and causing more damage to our already fragile coral system. It goes a long way to support efforts to rebuild the watersheds along our coastlines. About three years ago, I had the honor of being asked by President Obama to be a member of the, his task force on climate preparedness and resilience. The opportunity allowed me to better highlight to our federal partners the far-reaching impacts of decisions that they make that impact the insular areas. The government of Guam's partnerships with federal agencies and landscape cooperatives are critical. We value the open information exchange with the U.S. Geological Survey, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Pacific Island Climate Science Center, and of course, University of Guam. I wanna thank the University of Guam and the University of Alaska for ensuring this issue remains at the forefront of discussion. It's particularly important for communities like Guam and Alaska, both of which are removed from the continental United States. And I wanna thank Senator Murkowski for being involved in the effort to prepare islanded communities for changes in our environment. Like many other small islands and coastal regions throughout the world, Guam, Alaska, and the other islands in this region are among the most vulnerable to climate change. Our regions have inherent vulnerabilities that will exacerbate the social, economic, and environmental impact of climate change. This leads to a disproportionate fiscal impact climate change will have on all our economies. And that's also why we are glad to see more conversation taking place with the conference. While we on Guam are working towards finding ways to protect our environment, we can't do it alone. Whether you believe climate change is natural or caused by man, we can't deny that our islanded communities feel the impact of changes in our environment, such as the temperature and acidity of our oceans. On Guam, these have led to coral bleaching. We also see and feel it in the precipitation patterns or lack of precipitation as we're seeing on Guam and across Micronesia. It's when we engage everyone, from our students to our scientists to our policymakers, elevating discussions on what our community needs to adapt to the changes in our environment that we can then create, support, and promote policies that ensure sustainability. Now, last year, we created the Guam Climate Change Task Force through Executive Order 201508. The task force, which is comprised of various government of Guam agencies, will complete a comprehensive vulnerability assessment to help us better understand the threats to our island's resources, economy, and our community's well-being. Our priorities are number one, protect Guam's economy and natural resources. Two, build resilience in Guam's infrastructure. Three, promote responsible development and sustainable practice. Four, reduce vulnerabilities from regional climate migration. Five, enhance disaster risk management. And six, revise and influence policy. Now standing in the middle of a forested area, a project that began 30 plus years ago, demonstrates the challenges and successes local governments like Guam face when implementing sustainable climate action plans. I look forward to hearing the results of this year's conference and to working with you to strengthen our sustainability and resilience programs for our island and her people. 
und dann könnte ich so etwas machen.